How would you like to enjoy this season aboard one of the most popular vessels ever built? Today we're showcasing this Bayliner 3055 Sierra Express Cruiser. She's a 2001 model, well powered with twin Merc Cruiser 5.0 for 220 horsepower each. This boat is loaded with features and flagrancy has been very well cared for. We've got new upholstery, nice buff wax, ready to go for the next owner. So come with me. Here we are with the 2001 Bayliner 3055. We're gonna check her profile sitting on the water. She's in excellent condition, has a nice buff and wax on her, windless, powered by twin five liter Merc Cruiser engines with the Bravo 2. This is one of the most popular boats ever built, and you'll be able to see why with all the features. Here we are starting off to view flagrancy at the forward starboard quarter. We see just how nice, neat, and clean she is. Here at the bow, we have a windlass with foot pedals right there and a nice chrome plow anchor. We also have our nighttime spotlight right there for easy docking. This Bayliner 3055 was one of the most popular boats ever built. There's a lot of them, and there's a lot of them because they offer a lot of features and people like it. One of the LLI features, Lady Like It features, is if you notice, there's an insert area right there for a great big deck pad to lay out on. Bayliner is one of the few companies that was successful with these big slash windows which allow a lot of light into the cabin so you don't feel like you're going into a cave. We have the curved windshield, new bimini, which is easily removable. Down along the sides here, we see we've got that Bayliner Sierra 3055 badge. Coming to the transom, we see we have a molded in swim platform and a dinghy davit setup. Dinghy is not included. Stepping aboard, we see we've got trunk storage right here. This gives us a nice cockpit overview. We have seating for 10, and the table can be lowered to create a large sun pad right there. We enter the vessel through this port side door. There's also a hot and cold transom shower back here. Immediately in front of us, we see we have a wet bar with storage underneath. There's another view of the seating area. Great for entertaining family and friends. Here's what I call another LLI, a ladies like a companion seat right here with storage underneath and we have cup holders and a grab rail right there. To starboard, we have our double wide helm seat, large enough for you and a buddy. Up one step to the helm. We see we have a bi-level dash here. Up above, we have all of our operational gauges. And here we have our stereo control, Lowrance GPS, VHF. All the rocker switches on this are within easy reach, and they've all been replaced so they're nice and fresh. We have our binnacles right there. 
which are shifter and throttles. And here's another view of the cockpit right there. Bow access is nice and easy. Up the step, step, out through the window, and out to that great lo lounge pad right there. We enter the cabin through this bifolding door. And right in front of us, we could see we've got upgraded flooring, and you can appreciate just how much volume there is on this vessel. Immediately to port, we have our head, fully lined fiberglass with a pull-out RV style shower. Right in front of that, we've got our galley, with good amount of counter space, a coffee maker, microwave oven, cabinet storage above, dual burner alcohol electric stove, some storage right there, more storage right there. Our, our power panel is easily accessible right there. We've got hot and cold pressurized water at the stainless steel sink and below cabinet and drawer storage. We've got built-in drawers right there and then our refrigerator right there with little freezer up above. Couple upgrades on this. This owner has added this splash guard here. Keeps, keeps the bed dry when using the sink. They've also added a nice flat screen TV. And if you look, we've got porthole covers right there that match the accent pillows. This bed on the diagonal is over seven feet long double wide, easy to access. We also have storage up underneath. Circling around, we've got a storage cabinet there, a nice C-shaped booth style dinette. The table can be lowered and yet have another sleeping area. Have a little bit of gunnel storage right there for stuff. We do have electrical outlets. The carpet in here is nice, neat, clean, and fresh, along with the upholstery, which appears to be relatively new. We've got the wood floor. As we move aft, we've got a privacy curtain here. This area becomes a nice little quick changing area. We've got a hanging locker. Double wide berth back here. It's full beam, so it's over seven and a half feet long. Great place to sleep, nice and comfortable. You do have a window for light and air there. Um, as you can see, it's a great place for storage. As we circle back around, Bayliner does a nice job. We have storage and every nook and cranny is, is used. This gives us a view out. And the nice thing, when you're entertaining, you're still part of the group. You're prepping food here, and your guests are out there. Flagrancies is in excellent condition. Clean, neat, odor-free, value-priced, viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yacht.